destruction is inevitable. Hello everybody, this is uh, AstroShade speaking on the mic. I've had a tutorial request on how to make a hardstyle slash hardcore voice effect uh, like the one I did in the in my previous uh, clip. It's also here on uh, YouTube. I can link it into in the description. I won't talk so much in this part. I don't know if I'm gonna make two parts or just one part. We'll see how the time fits. My uh, camcorder or my recorder can only record 10 minutes at a time. So I'll, I guess I'll be as quick as I can and we'll see <laughs> how far I can take things. Uh, Alright, so here we go. Uh, first, what you want to do uh, is you want to take a sample that you yourself have. Uh, like, it, it can be actually any sample. It can be of yourself or anyone else. It, this is my own voice. And uh, you have to work a bit on how you pronounce things, you know, so that you can't... You can't just say, uh, hello, my name is uh, Astro Shade, and then expect it to sound uh, really hardcore and terrifying. You actually have to uh, be pretty, uh, you know, when you pronounce things, you should be like, uh, I don't know, uh, auto-destruct sequence has been initiated, you know? That's the way I did it when I, uh, when I recorded my auto-destruct sequence has been initiated. And uh, yeah, I, I thought it sounded pretty good. <coughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna uh, start Edison to uh, record everything that I say, uh, or uh, all the sounds in this tutorial. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna start it now. And this is what the original uh, sample sounded like. Didn't I kill all of you yet? Sorry, I'm just gonna put it to channel 6. And have it centered. One more time. Now. Didn't I kill all of you yet? Yeah. <coughs> so that's that's my voice. And uh, this is... Uh, uh, yeah. It's it's a pretty violent phrase. Uh, so... Uh, a pretty violent sentence. <laughs> so uh, if you... Um, yeah. If you're 15 or uh, below 15 years of age, please stop watching this tutorial and go do something better. And uh, also, all of the um, plugins that I'll be using to make this voice sound a bit more hardcore are uh, all the plugins that you're using when you're uh, when you're into hard style and har hardcore music. So uh, yeah, if you're not into that music and producing that music, then probably you don't find this interesting because you don't have the plugins required. Okay, so we start by making a copy <coughs> of your original sample, and we can name it Darkness and you absolutely have to call it darkness otherwise this won't work trust me i've tried it myself of course i'm kidding uh Didn't then you I kill all of you yet yeah that's that's what i sound like then what you have to do is you have to pitch it down but the thing is when you pitch it down don't use resample or pro default or any of that because it'll sound like really cheesy and really really bad uh like check it out uh, hold on just one second. This is the darkness voice, not the other one I made. And it's darkness, but that's that's okay. Darkness works just as well. And we'll link it to a track, any track, any channel. I chose 11. And uh <coughs> yeah, well, let's let's listen to it once when I uh, how it sounds normal one more time. Uh didn't I kill all of you yet? Yeah, so that I yeah, so that's what it sounds like, right? But if I pitch it down, just using Pro Default, it'll sound really <laughs> weird. J just listen to it. It'll sound like a like a cheesy uh, demon guy from some '90s movie. Check it. Didn't I? What the? F Wrong one. Sorry. One more time. Didn't I kill all of you yet? Yeah, that that sounds just terrible, man. So that's why I'm gonna choose monophonic. I'm gonna drive it all the way down. Uh, an entire octave down, uh, one thousand, uh, one tw twelve semitones, or one thousand two hundred percent, and let's check it out. Didn't I kill all of you yet? Sounds a lot better. It sounds a bit distorted, but that's exactly what we want. And of course, you can use uh, better tools for this, like, uh, like, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Adobe Edition. You can use, but that that's. Um, 
yeah I'm not so familiar with that program so um, yeah we'll use Fruity Loops because that's why you you came here uh, so anyway hold on just one second just had to check the time on my recording <coughs> five minutes left so I guess this is gonna be a two-part tutorial uh, yeah so we've pitched this down all the way down right so that it sounds like this didn't I kill all of you yet I'm just gonna make it a bit more um, I'm gonna drag it out like like slow it down a bit uh, not too much but not too little maybe this is okay didn't I kill all of you yet yeah that sounds perfect now for distortion reasons sometimes distortion is okay sometimes it's not and when we use programs like Omicide <coughs> it has a tendency to uh, muddy things out and just have like weird decaying side effects so I'm just I'm just cutting out the bits that that is just background noise now I'm I'm going to add a compressor to this uh, particular sound to make it a bit more uh, yeah you know you know what, what a compressor is I hope didn't I so I checked that it's at about maybe eight nine decibels so I'm gonna drag it a bit under maybe 12 ratio basic ratio 2 to 1 gain maybe 5 or something kill all of you yet sounds pretty okay didn't I kill all of you yet 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 didn't I kill yeah I'm not really sure even if we need a compressor but that's the, how I did it the first time and it, it worked actually pretty good this is just a just a simple tutorial so uh, I'm I'm not I'm not so sure about any of this right now you, you can figure it out better for yourselves but this is just like like the the, the basics right so then I added a, an EQ and <coughs> I didn't use brick wall but I I still I rolled off the um, the the low end with a gentle four around here maybe and then we have to check the spectrum and of course this only applies to my voice but if I if I would have said anything else I maybe have had uh, another pitch when I was uh, talking yeah <coughs> so then that decides how you should uh, how you know what what kind of a knobs and uh, stuff you should tweak in the in the EQ but let's just check the spectrum view the spectrum and listen to it and see what sounds best didn't I kill all of you yet 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 didn't I kill all of you sounds a bit more interesting doesn't it <clears throat> okay let's check the time hold on just one second holy moly I got two minutes left <laughs> that's not good okay anyways uh, yeah so what I did was I added the EQ and it sounds pretty interesting you want to crisp things up around here around the 4000 to 6000 Hertz then uh, boost a bit of the mid mid low bay uh, yeah mid low frequency and I just cut out the the part that uh, that's that I don't need I, this step isn't even necess necessary but I it adds it adds a bit to it then I add Camel Fat 3 and uh, well my friends this is where the mystery begins and uh, my first tutorial is ended and uh, I'll see you in the next part 2 bye bye where do we close this thing <laughs>